Hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back to the Char Griller Auto Kamado, folks. This thing is a, an excellent piece of equipment, but it's got a flaw. And one of the flaws is the temp probe. And a lot of us out there have been struggling with this. A lot of us have been struggling with Char Griller when it comes to maybe warranty or getting a new temp probe. So uh, one of you great people out there said, hey, you know, I found an alternative using somebody else's, another manufacturer's, and it does work. You had to do a couple little modifications, but if you got Air Probe and you got 13 bucks or 12 bucks to go on Amazon, I'll show you what you can get. And I'm gonna show you how to put it on and how to fix your temp probe on your Char Griller Auto Commodore. All right, so here's, here's a new one. You can see it's made for Pit Boss uh, P7, but it's only 12 bucks. And uh, everybody's telling me this is working. I, I actually, my, the probe on, on my Auto Kamado is good. I did once upon a time have it go out and Char Griller did send me a new one. But uh, I, I also hear a lot of you are struggling to get a new one or getting them having a hard time getting it covered under warranty. And I'm just like, you know, for 12 bucks, folks, um, you gotta do a couple little modifications and that's it right there. It does have the braided wire in it. Sorry about that. It has the braided wire, so it's gonna hand up to handle the heat well. But it does not have that little the little screw. If you want to see on the inside handle, let's show you the inside. And I'm gonna plug this in and make sure it works first before I do the install. Right, so that's it on the inside. You can see there is a thumb screw, and that that rod is threaded. So this is gonna be different. And when I put it on, I'm gonna to have to put uh, two little small self tappers. You could be, maybe even get away with one, uh, just to hold it in place there. But uh, we're gonna plug this in first and make sure it works. I don't wanna take you folks down the wrong road with something that won't work. So let's let's try that first. I'm curious where the plug is, it's underneath. And uh, if you follow it out, you can see that that's it right there. And we're gonna plug the new one in and see if it works first before we do the install. All right, got the new one plugged in. We'll just turn on the power here. Yeah, look at that, works. Okay, now that we know it works, we're gonna unplug it. Then we're gonna unplug the other one, show you how to install this new one that's only 12 bucks. All right, so this is still the old one. The old one it comes through the grommet right there where my finger is, and then you just pull that out like that. I got the thumb screw off the other side, and then with the lid down, you can just pull that one out. Now let's see the new one fits. All right, you can see the difference in lengths here. So the new one has to go be mounted through the inside of the grill. Now, the hole on the inside is big enough for this plug to get in, uh, get through but on the outside here it is not so we're going to have to enlarge that hole in order so we can feed this through from the inside and get the plug through also so got some drilling to do a little bit more complicated than those other people online made it sound like but uh you know what we're going to do it anyway all right holes enlarged uh half inch drill bit does the trick all right let's feed it through remember there is insulation in between i'm not really Worried about the hole because there was a hole there. And uh, there we go. So then the new one's going to go, and we're going to cover that hole, and then we're going to drill and put in two, uh, two sheet, uh, stainless steel sheet metal screws. And that'll hold it into place, plug it in, see how it works. Easy peasy. Remember, if I can do it, so can you. All right, just putting the last one in there. Easy, easy, nice and easy. You could almost get away with one if you didn't want to do. And now I'm going to take the shop back and clean up all these uh, fines here, the metal shavings. I don't want to get any of that in my right, food. That's done. Uh, we are going to run right down through here. Now these little clips, you can see the Targular's got these little clips. I think these were part of the problem. Uh, it was keeping the line too taut. And every time you open it and close it, I think it was putting stress on the, on the whole dealio there. That goes through. We'll plug it in. See if it works. All right, so there's two clips. I'm holding the camera, so I'm not gonna be able to do this one-handed. But uh, you can see that side, it goes in only one way, folks. And you can see, oh, I'm not showing you. There you go. You gotta put it so this side, that bump goes under that tab, and that's what locks it into place. So I'll do that and we'll check it out. All right, moment of truth. Look at that, works. Super simple to do. Remember, if I can do it, folks, <laughs> so can you. Tom Horsbury on YouTube, thumbs up, leave a comment. Hey, if you want to support the channel, don't forget the super thanks down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, appreciate you watching. Thank you.